Okay, so welcome back to the next part of this series. This part is mostly going to be removing the old wiring from the car. So first of all, remove your bonnet, however that comes off and the car will be dependent. And the majority of this wiring is going to come. Let me move that a bit closer. The majority of this wire, wiring will be coming out. So first of all, we're going to remove the battery. So we follow the strap. We find the clip for it and unclip. And this one is a battery pack. Take it out. Next, we've got to look at the motor controller. So we've got this wire here. This is an RC model. So this wire, this one goes to the steering controller. So it's a clip, squeeze in, unplug. So I unscrewed over my mouth, right, let's take that out, right. So we've got motor controller here next for the motors. These green, yellow, and blue ones from looks of things. So we'll take that out the controller. We then have this final one is obviously the battery. Unclip. This is our control wire for various different systems that come on the RC models. We unclip. Next thing is going to be unscrewing, removing the controller. We then have our steering lock, which we will undo. We then got to look at our reverse switch, which is just very thin, so we're going to need to do some fancy wiring on that one to work it out. We can make a quick plug, and then we've got some steering switches and everything. So while you look at this lot, I'm going to start pulling these wires out. Okay, bye. So, now we have our original loom to go with it, the standard. As you noticed, I had to use a combination of Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver to remove some spades. I had to remove the connectors from the shifter, the lights, and the steering lock. You also noticed, may have noticed that I cut two small wires. They were the on-off for the stereo. I'm going to keep those. We will cover those in a 12-volt feed part. So, next thing to do is to measure up our current controller. We're now all back to standard, everything in here. We won't have reverse switch, but we're gonna test it all in the car to make sure it all works okay. And then we shall move on from there. So we have a few extra bits in here. Obviously this is because on this car, I have police lights and a police siren in there. So we have some extra wires, so please ignore. We have all our standard ones that we need. Right. That's the end of part two, really. 